Hey, what's happening fellow YouTubers? Super Milwaukee Boy here and on a nice, beautiful, gorgeous, windy, rainy day here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I can bring to you another In the Kitchen food review. And today, going head to head, my favorites, we got some chicken sausages from Johnsonville. And uh, one of the sausages is Johnsonville's smoked chicken sausage and the other one is the new Polish kielbasa chicken sausage now it says new on the package but I don't I of course don't know how long new is you know when did it come out so I'm gonna take a guess and say it's been out probably a couple months maybe a year that's what they mean by new but anyways bigger proportions is I'm gonna have a little bite out of both sausages and we're going to determine right here which one has the best in flavor quality and who gets the best of my rating scale. Now before I go on and boil the sausages I want to uh, read off the nutrition facts for each one. Starting out with our Johnsonville smoked chicken sausage. Now they're both healthy sausages, they're both made of chicken and it says on the package made with 100% premium chicken 50% less fat the ingredients is chicken water corn syrup and less than 2% of the following salt dextrose modified food starch potassium chloride sodium phosphate garlic powder natural flavors onion powder sodium and sodium nitrite whatever that is I don't know what the, the nitrite sodium nitrite would be and, um, on the back here goes the nutrition facts total fat is 6 grams there are 90 calories per sausage calories from fat is 50 total carbohydrate is only 2 grams so that's not bad dietary fiber 0 grams sugar is 1 gram protein is 8 grams so wow a lot of good source of protein in these sausages we got uh, cholesterol 40 milligrams sodium is 410 milligrams no vitamins and iron is 4 percent so it's pretty good it's not bad if you're a guy that likes to work out like I do I like to do a little uh, cardio here and there I like to pump a little weights here and there. This would be a good source of protein as, you know, maybe a cheat meal or something. You wouldn't want to eat something like this every single day. You want to make something a little leaner. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Let's get on to uh, my Johnsonville Polish kielbasa chicken sausage. And this one, just like the last one, is also made of 100% premium chicken and 50% less fat. Ingredients for the uh, Polish chicken sausage is chicken, water, corn syrup, and less than 2% of the following, which is salt, dextrose, <clears throat> modified food starch, potassium, chloride, spices, paprika, which they didn't have paprika in the smoked chicken sausage, so that's something new. They're almost similar in ingredients. We also got sodium phosphate, natural flavor, dehydrated garlic, that's new too, sodium, and sodium nitrite, which I didn't know what sodium nitrite is. Tell me what that is in the, in the link below if you guys know. It's uh, Both sausages are gluten free, which is really good to know. And it also says on the package, no artificial flavors and colors, no MSG. And it says that on both of them. <clears throat> And it says also down below for both sausages that they're fully cooked. So uh, I guess you can eat them raw if they're fully cooked. But I'm not a big fan of that. I like to boil them. Now for the Polish kielbasa sausage, chicken sausage, we're going to read off the nutrition facts. So total fat is 6 grams. Calories is 90. Calories from fat is 50. Total carbohydrate, 2 grams. 
Uh, saturated fat 1.5 gram, dietary fiber 0 grams, sugars 1 gram, protein 8 grams, cholesterol 40 milligrams, sodium 400 milligrams, no vitamins, iron also 4%. So they're pretty similar in nutrition facts, very similar. Except the uh, Polish sausage has 10 grams less salt than the uh, Johnsonville smoked sausage, chicken sausage. So, now that I read to you the ingredients, I got some sausage to start boiling. I'll be right back, guys. Hang on. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, what I did was I boiled them. It only took about uh, 15, 16 minutes tops. And I separated both sausages. I wrote down what which sausage went where and where they are on the table uh, the smell two Johnsonville sausages right on my kitchen table and um, it was pretty easy for me to tell which was which because on opening both packages I noticed that the Polish kielbasa sausage was a more darker look and you can see more of this they have more spices in the Polish sausage than they did with the smoked chicken sausage. Also, the uh, flavor, the smell, as soon as I opened up the Polish sausage, the package of the, the Polish kielbasa chicken sausage, the smell just hit me. Oh man, just that delicious smell. Um, unlike the, the, um, the smoked chicken sausage, which really didn't smell like too much, but just because the Polish sausage won my heart in the smell and the spices doesn't necessarily mean it won the trophy on my rating scale here tonight. So, um, like I said, guys, smell really doesn't mean anything. It's all about the taste. So uh, I got my fork and my knife here. And like I usually say in all my videos and my past videos, do not let kids use sharp uh, utensils on the kitchen table. Do it for them. Uh, to all the parents out there. And without further ado, guys, here we go. I'm going to start with the smoked chicken sausage, and then we're going to work our way to the Polish sausage. Quite a bit of salt, too, when I was boiling it. You can see it in the water. These things do carry a good amount of salt, guys. So if you're trying to watch your water retention, I wouldn't recommend it. Before I start, I got to tease you guys. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that steam coming off of there from a freshly boiled Johnsonville sausage. Ooh, look at that meat. Look at the skin. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Food love. Alright, here we go guys. For better or for worse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a piece like this regularly. Then I'm going to take another piece like this and take the skin off and just eat the, the middle because the middle is where all the flavor is and maybe that skin might, you know, work against the flavor that's inside the inside of the, the, the sausage. So. First bite is going to be with the skin, second bite without the skin. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, man. I'm a big fan of sausages. Much, much like turkey and chicken sausages never had them for so long and that is good that is so good now let's try a piece guys without the skin that is very delicious let me see if I can get this skin cut off on this chunk Move that skin if I can. If I can do it, guys, let's see. Sometimes it's not as easy as it may look. See if we can get this skin removed. 
try a piece of the uh, the middle of the sausage. Just for all the flavorings that are in the sausage, that's all we want to do is just try flavors of the sausage. Look at that. Removed all the skin, except for that little piece, but that shouldn't affect anything. But all we got left is that middle of the meat. Let's try this, guys. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. And if you can, remove all the skin. It's pretty complicated. Off the whole, if you remove all the skin, it does make a difference. There was more flavor in that second bite, guys. Let's move on. Clear my mouth for a minute and move on to the Polish kielbasa sausage. And this thing looks real nice. I'll show you guys a piece. Check this out. The skin seems a little tougher. As you can see, it's got a darker texture to it. And look at all that flavor. Ooh. All those spices in that bad boy. That's one hot mama. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here is the Polish kielbasa chicken sausage. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's definitely a delicious flavor. There's a delicious flavor in it. But is it worthy enough to take on the smoked chicken sauces? Let's try one more piece. And just like I did here, let's remove the skin, guys. The skin's a little tougher on this one, like I said before, on the... Polish sausage, so it might be harder to remove the skin. It might be actually easier. Just want to get rid of the skin and have the middle of the sausage where all the juicy flavors are. It's not always an easy thing to do is to remove the skin on these sausages. There we go. And all I have is the meat. There's a little skin I can't get off, but that shouldn't affect anything. Here we go. Here goes a bite without the, the skin being on there. And this should be more flavorful than the first bite. I don't know, it's it's not a toss up. There's a clear winner here. So guys, I'm gonna rate the Polish sausage and then I'm gonna rate the chicken sausage. On my rating scale, the Polish Kabasa Johnsonville chicken sausage is a three for good. And on my rating scale for the smoked Johnsonville chicken sausage is a five for fantastic. Guys, what uh, threw me off maybe on the Polish sausage was I think there's a little too much pepper that took away from the flavor of it. And uh, with the smoked chicken sausage, there was just that just enough flavor just that bit that you want that combines it all together the polish sausage too peppery 
the smoked chicken sausage was just right, right on the mark. All the spices were there. And uh, it's kind of a shame too because the Polish sausage was not too far off from being, you know, at least great, getting a four. But all that pepper was just kind of, eh, you know, it was just a little too overpowering in the sausage. So the Polish sausage was good enough to get a three. And uh, chicken sausage, you won, baby. Um, guys, that's about wraps this one up. That's my rating scale on this one. Tell me in the comment section below, do you like this? Do you want me to review another sausage? Do you want me to do uh, another head-to-head -head competition on a food item? Uh, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I love you. Super Milwaukee Boys zooming on out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.